Hi there everybody, my name is Richard McMahon and in this next training video I'm going to teach you how to pass mechanical comprehension tests and in particular I'm going to give you sample questions, a few tutorials and also the answers. So it's going to be a great fantastic tutorial, let's get straight into it. So first of all a very warm welcome from me, that's me there on the right hand side, my name is Richard McMahon, I've been helping people like you for many many years, about 20 years now to prepare for their psychometric tests and also pass their interviews. So in this video specifically, we are going to focus on mechanical comprehension tests. So the test is aimed to be educational, informative, a little bit of fun, but also challenging. And I'm going to get you guys to have a go at some of the questions. So on that point, please do watch it from beginning to end, because I believe that you will really enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe just click the red subscribe button below the video um, and also if you do like the questions please do give it a thumbs up because um, that would really motivate me to do more okay let's get straight into it question number one so we have two buckets here x and y so question one both water buckets are filled to the top so we have to imagine they're filled to the top now, which water bucket most accurately demonstrates how water would leak from the bucket if four small holes were made on the side of the bucket? So we've got A, X, B or Y. So you can see there that there's four small holes been made in the bucket. And you can see there the water is coming out on X and Y. So we have to decide which one depicts or accurately demonstrates how water would leak from the bucket. And you've also got four holes on the right hand side bucket as well. So that's the water coming out in those blue lines. And we have to decide which one accurately demonstrates how water would leak from the bucket if four small holes were made. Now, this is how to answer this question. Now, pressure is acting in this direction on both of the buckets. Therefore, the pressure is greater the further down the bucket you go, which means the water will spout further the lower down the bucket the hole is made. Therefore, the correct answer is Y. Okay, that's the correct answer to question one. Because the pressure is acting down, therefore there's more pressure acting, which means the water, the lower the holes are, the further out it will spout. Okay, now it's your turn. So we're going to do question two, but I'd like you to post your answer to question two in the comments section below this video for marking. So I'll come on each day and mark it. Now there is a timer on each question that I'm going to do and that's the timer there and you'll see it go down you've got about 12 seconds per question to have a go so this is question two when the tap is turned on which container will fill up first so you have to look at all of the containers and have a look at the configuration which ones have holes which ones don't and we need to know which one is going to fill up first is it A, B, C, D, E, F or G please put your answer to the comment section below. Now, if you find that 12 seconds is not long enough, please feel free to pause the video to work it out because I'd rather you got the answers correct. So off you go. Okay, so please place your answer to question two in the comment section below the video. Let's move on. Question three, a glass beaker. Now, this is a real common question during mechanical comprehension tests. A glass beaker contains oil and water as depicted below. If more water is poured into the beaker, how will it look now, A, B or C? So you can see this is the one here that we have that's depicted with oil on the top of the water. If more water is poured in here, will it look like A, B or C? So water's poured in there, how will it look? Now to answer this, now remember this, Water is heavier than oil. Therefore, the correct answer is C, because oil will all, always be at the top, because water is denser than oil. And always remember that, because this is a real common question. OK, now it's your turn again. Please post your answer in the comments section below the video for marking. Thank you. So here we go. We've got three trucks here, and the, each truck contains petrol. And the petrol is the white shaded part. And this is the direction the truck is moving. So question four, a truck containing petrol is traveling at 40 miles an hour in the direction of this large arrow. So from left to right. If the truck had to suddenly break, which diagram best demonstrates what would happen to the petrol the truck is transporting at the time of braking suddenly? Is it truck A, truck B or truck C? And please put your answer in the comments section below the video for marking. Okay, 
off you go. Got 12 seconds. Okay, well done. So put your answer to question four in the comment section below. Next one, let's take a look. Okay, so here we have a crane. Question five, which rope is needed to support the load on the crane? And again, this is a real common question during mechanical comprehension tests. So which rope is needed to support the load on the crane? Is it rope X, rope Y, both ropes are necessary, or neither ropes are necessary? So to answer this question, let's assume we take away rope X. So there we go, we re remove rope X. You can see that, that we've got rope Y left, but it would not be serving any purpose at all, as the load can now drop down this way, because you can see the lever could then move up from the bottom up to the top. Therefore, we do need rope X. So the correct answer is A, rope X, because then it can't move anywhere. Okay, so now it's your turn. Again, please post your answer in the comments section below for marking. This is question number six. Now read this carefully. Which ropes are not needed to support the crane's load? Is it ropes A, B and C? B, ropes B and C. C, ropes A and C. Or D, ropes A and B. So put your answer to comment in the comment section below. So which, which ropes are not needed to support the crane's load? Off you go. Like I say, if you need more time, please do pause the video. It's important you get it correct. Okay, moving on, question number seven. This is again a real common one. Now when the handle, so that's the handle there in the top right, makes a complete rotation, how far will the weight lower? And it says here the barrel circumference equals 38 inches. Okay, so is it A, 66 inches, B, 1,900 inches, C, 17 inches, D, 38 inches. Now, what we have to understand is what the circumference is. Well, the circumference is the entire distance around the barrel, which means if the handle makes one complete rotation, then it means the weight will lower simply 38 inches. So one complete rotation of the winch will lower the weight 38 inches. The correct answer is D. Okay, now it's your turn. I'm gonna give you two questions here to have a go at. We'll do the first one and then the second one. Again, as always, put your answer in the comment section below. Question eight, a wooden disc, so there's three wooden discs here, X, Y, and Z. A wooden disc with an integral metal disc inserted will stop in which position when rolled on a flat surface? Is it X, Y, or Z? So just to clarify, that's the wooden disc and that's the metal disc. So obviously, you have to decide which is heavier, wood or metal. Is it A, X, B, Y, or C, Z? Or D, it could stop in any position. So the wooden disc with an integral metal disc inserted will stop in which position when rolled on a flat surface? And you've got the time it takes the timer to go down to put your answer in the comments section below for marking. Thank you. Okay, we're making fantastic progress here. Like I say, these are real common questions, so you're obviously learning a lot as you go along. And um, like I say, if you do enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. So this is one for you again, guys. Question nine, which way would you turn the bolt in order to tighten it? So first of all, we have to know which is the nut and which is the bolt. Most people know this, but that's the nut and that is the bolt. So which way do we turn the bolt to tighten it? Is it A or B? Put your answer in the comments section below to question nine, A or B, for marking. Thank you. Okay, well done. Fantastic. Question number 10. Again, I know I keep saying this, but these are common questions. See these all the time, and I'll tell you how to answer this kind of question. How much weight should be placed at point X to balance the beam. So that's point X. So how to answer this? Because the distance is three times greater on the right of the fulcrum than on the left, we have to divide the weight by three to get our answer. 
So that's the fulcrum point there. So we know what the fulcrum is now. So the weight is three times greater on the right than on the left. Therefore, we have to simply divide the weight by three to get our answer. So the answer is 30 kilograms. That's question 10. Okay, so now it's your turn. I'm going to give you three questions now, so we'll really start to develop and grow. So again, as always, post your answer to questions, the next three that come up in the comment section below. Same sort of question. How much weight should be placed at point X to balance the beam? Okay, so you've got the time it takes. You've got two meters on the left and four meters on the right. So what you've just learned, apply that to this. And like I say, if you need to pause it to get more time or go back to the question 10 to learn, please feel free to do so. Time is going down now. Okay, well done. Question number 12. All of the shapes shown are hollow and filled with water. If they are all the exact same weight, which one will be the hardest to push on its side? Is it A, W, B, X, C, Y, or D, Z? So all of the shapes shown are hollow and filled with water. If they're all the exact same weight, which one will be the hardest to push on its side? Okay, well done. Next question. So we have a, a, a vinyl record here and it spins at 45 RPM. RPM stands for revolutions per minute. So it goes around 45 times per minute, but it spins at 45 RPM for two minutes. Which point will make the greatest number of revolutions? Is it A, B or C? If you believe they will all revolve an equal number, select D as your answer. A, B, C, or D for equal. And again, you've got the time it takes, the time to go down, to put your answer in the comment section below. Thank you. Okay, well done. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed those. If you click the link below the video now, I'll give you more free practice mechanical comprehension tests. They're free of charge. Click the link below the video and you can go straight through to my website where you can download some PDF stuff. Um, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. I'll make these videos every day of the week um, and you'll get an email as soon as they're uploaded. Guys, thank you very much for watching and I wish you all the very best in your pursuit to passing your mechanical comprehension tests.